welcome, dear listeners, to tonight's enchanting journey. I'm your host, Amanda, and tonight I have a beautiful tale for you about self-discovery, love, and the savory magic of culinary creation. Snuggle into your favorite blanket, let the worries of the day drift away, and allow the gentle waves of our story to carry you into a world where passion simmers and hearts find their perfect recipe. If you've been enjoying our stories, we ask that you please give us a like and subscribe so you never miss any. In the heart of San Diego, where the salty breeze from the Pacific kissed the palm trees, Laura Montero found solace. It was a city of sunshine and redemption, a place where she could heal the wounds of a failed relationship and rediscover the flavors of life. As a talented chef, Laura had always believed in the therapeutic power of food, but she never imagined it could also mend a broken heart. The story began in a small coastal town where Laura's culinary dreams were intertwined with the deceit of an insecure man named Greg. Greg's insecurities led him down a path of betrayal, shattering the trust Laura had placed in him. The discovery of his infidelity was a bitter taste she couldn't swallow, prompting her to pack her knives and leave everything behind to move to San Diego. Laura's cozy apartment perched on the cliffs of San Diego was more than just a refuge. It was a sanctuary where the rhythmic waves crashing against the shore whispered promises of renewal. The move wasn't merely a change of scenery. It was a deliberate act of reclaiming her narrative. Within the walls of her new abode, Laura set about transforming the space into a haven that echoed her newfound sense of freedom. Fresh paint adorned the walls in soothing hues, and the aroma of scented candles wafted through the air, creating an atmosphere of tranquility. The view from her windows, a panoramic spectacle of the vast Pacific, served as a constant reminder of the endless possibilities that lay before her. Determined to immerse herself in the culinary arts anew, Laura sought out the local institute where she could refine her skills and explore the diverse flavors the city had to offer. The culinary classes became a melting pot of inspiration, a place where she not only honed her techniques, but also forged connections with fellow enthusiasts who shared her passion. In the bustling landscape of San Diego's food scene, Laura discovered hidden gems and culinary delights that fueled her creativity. From vibrant farmer's markets showcasing fresh produce to hole-in-the-wall eateries serving up authentic flavors, each experience added a layer to her evolving culinary identity. It was amid this exploration that fate intervened in the form of an unexpected opportunity. A television network scouting for a charismatic chef to host a cooking show stumbled upon Laura's vibrant presence in the local food community. Drawn to her exuberance and passion for creating unforgettable dishes, they extended an invitation that would alter the course of her journey. Burst of Flavor was born, a show that transcended the confines of a mere cooking program. It became a platform for Laura to weave stories through food, to share not just recipes, but the essence of her journey. The first time she stood in front of the camera, a blend of nervous excitement and unbridled passion, she had no inkling that her infectious enthusiasm would captivate an entire community. The show's initial episodes resonated with viewers, and the city embraced Laura as its culinary muse. San Diego, with its diverse culinary landscape and the backdrop of the sparkling ocean, became an integral character in the narrative. Each episode of 
burst of flavor, unfolded like a love letter to the city, an exploration of its flavors, and a celebration of the vibrant melding of cultures that shaped its culinary identity. As the show gained momentum, Laura's life transformed. The cozy apartment overlooking the ocean became a hub of creativity, a place where she curated recipes, tested flavors, and, in quiet moments, reflected on the remarkable journey that had led her to this point. The local celebrity status that accompanied Laura's newfound success wasn't just about recognition. It was an acknowledgement of resilience and the power of reinvention. Fans approached her in markets, sharing stories of how her recipes had become a staple in their homes. The community she had discovered through her culinary adventures had expanded, forming a tight-knit family bound by a shared love for food and the indomitable spirit of San Diego. Yet, amidst the whirlwind of success, Laura remained grounded. The warmth of the community and the love she poured into each episode of Burst of Flavor served as a constant reminder of the authenticity that had fueled her journey. Each dish she presented was more than a recipe. It was a chapter in the ongoing story of her life, a testament to the transformative power of embracing new beginnings. In the midst of this culinary odyssey, Laura's enthusiasm not only showcased her talent, but also became a beacon of hope for those who, like her, sought solace and inspiration in the simple act of creating something beautiful. Burst of Flavor was more than just a show. It was a testament to the extraordinary heights one could reach when fueled by passion and guided by the belief that even in the face of heartache, a fresh start could lead to a masterpiece of happiness. In the midst of her newfound success, Laura met William, the show's charismatic producer. With his easygoing charm and a genuine interest in her culinary skills, William quickly became a close friend and confidant. As the two spent countless hours together in the bustling kitchen and under the bright studio lights, a friendship began to blossom, adding a hint of sweetness to Laura's life. San Diego had become Laura's sanctuary, a place where she not only reinvented herself, but also found unexpected companionship. Little did she know that the city's warm embrace and the blossoming friendship with William were the perfect ingredients for a romantic adventure she never saw coming. As Burst of Flavor continued to capture the hearts of viewers across San Diego, Laura and William found themselves navigating a delicate dance between friendship and something more. The chemistry between them simmered beneath the surface, like a pot slowly coming to a boil. Unspoken glances lingered, and the laughter they shared echoed with a resonance that hinted at a deeper connection. One day, as they wrapped up another successful shoot, William suggested a change of scenery. Let's escape the studio for a while, he proposed, with a mischievous twinkle in his eyes. I know this hidden gem of a restaurant where the chef does wonders with seafood. What do you say? Laura smiled, intrigued by the prospect of exploring a new culinary adventure. They ventured into the heart of the city, where the rhythm of urban life blended seamlessly with the salty breeze from the ocean. The restaurant, tucked away in a charming corner, exuded an intimate ambience that set the stage for a memorable evening. Seated at a cozy corner table, the atmosphere buzzed with the symphony of clinking glasses and low murmurs of conversations. The menu promised a symphony of flavors, 
and as each dish arrived, Laura and William found themselves immersed in a gastronomic journey. As they savored the exquisite bites, the air became charged with a palpable tension, a spice that lingered between them. You know, William began, his eyes locking with Laura's, this city has a way of really surprising you. I feel like we're on the cusp of something extraordinary. Laura's heart skipped a beat, and she nodded in silent agreement. The night unfolded like a carefully crafted recipe, with every moment adding a dash of anticipation to their growing connection. They lingered over dessert, sharing anecdotes and dreams, the air thick with unspoken promises. Following that night, Laura and William's friendship deepened. The boundaries blurred, and the line between professional collaboration and personal connection became increasingly elusive. The show continued to thrive, garnering a loyal following that rooted not only for Laura's culinary prowess, but also for the underlying chemistry between host and producer that simmered beneath the surface. However, just as the flavors of their relationship reached a crescendo, a surprising twist unfolded. A renowned culinary critic, Avery Hayes, descended upon San Diego, promising to sample the city's finest offerings. The network saw an opportunity to elevate burst of flavor to new heights and invited Avery to feature as a guest judge on an upcoming episode. Avery, a formidable personality in the culinary world, had a reputation for being discerning and unapologetically honest. Laura felt a mixture of excitement and nerves as the day of the shoot approached. The kitchen buzzed with frenetic energy, and William offered words of encouragement, assuring her that her talent would undoubtedly shine. As the cameras rolled and the culinary magic unfolded, Laura presented her signature dish with a blend of confidence and vulnerability. Avery observed with keen eyes, her expressions revealing nothing. The moment of truth arrived when she took a slow bite, her taste buds dissecting each element of the dish. The room held its breath as Avery finally spoke her voice carrying the weight of her expertise. Laura, this is a masterpiece on a plate. You have a rare gift for turning ordinary ingredients into extraordinary experiences. Relief washed over Laura, but it was William's proud smile that resonated most deeply. Little did they know, Avery's arrival would not only impact the show, but also set off a chain of events that would test the resilience of their budding connection. As the episode aired, Burst of Flavor skyrocketed in popularity. Viewers marveled at the chemistry between Laura and William, who often showed up on screen, and the show's success drew the attention of producers from a major network. Offers poured in, promising nationwide exposure and the chance for Laura to take her culinary journey to a grander stage. The prospect of leaving San Diego, the city that had become her sanctuary, sparked conflicting emotions in Laura. On one hand, the opportunity was a testament to her talent and hard work. On the other, it meant uprooting the life she had carefully built, leaving behind the familiar comfort of the ocean breeze and the laughter-filled kitchen at the heart of the city. The decision weighed heavily on her heart, especially as she considered the impact it might have on her growing connection with William. Would their budding romance withstand the challenges of a nationwide spotlight and the potential distance between them. The prospect of a nationwide show presented a tantalizing opportunity 
to share her passion with a broader audience. Yet the roots she'd planted in San Diego held her close. Laura found herself torn between the allure of fame and the comforting embrace of the city that had become her refuge. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the Pacific, she sought solace at her favorite spot, a quiet stretch of beach where the rhythm of the waves mirrored the ebb and flow of her thoughts. William, sensing her inner turmoil and knowing her well enough to know where she would seek solace, appeared on the sandy shore, his footsteps muted by the soft whispers of the sea. This place has a way of grounding you, doesn't it? He remarked, gazing out at the vast expanse of the ocean. Laura nodded, her gaze fixed on the horizon. It's where I come to find clarity. But right now, the waves are as tumultuous as my thoughts. William turned to her, his eyes reflecting understanding. You've got a big decision ahead, Laura. But whatever you choose, know that I'll support you. The sincerity in his words warmed her heart. Laura crouched down, her fingers tracing patterns in the sand. William, there's something I need to tell you. I value what we have, and the idea of leaving San Diego is weighing on me, not just for my career, but because of... Her voice trailed off, and William looked at her with a gentle encouragement. Laura took a deep breath, her words tinged with vulnerability. Because of us, William, I can't deny that there's something special here, something that's been growing between us. For a moment, the world stilled, and the only sounds were the waves lapping at the shore. William's eyes met hers, a mixture of surprise and joy dancing in their depths. Laura, I've felt it too, he confessed. I was afraid to say anything, afraid it might complicate things with the show and your career. Laura smiled, a blend of relief and affection coloring her expression. William, Life is too short to ignore what makes our hearts beat faster. Let's not be afraid of what could be. As they stood there, facing the unknown together, the decision about the nationwide show became secondary. Laura realized that the most significant flavor in her life wasn't found in the glitz and glamour of fame, but in the genuine connections she'd forged especially with William. With newfound clarity, Laura turned down the dazzling offers from the major networks. Instead, she chose to continue the journey with Burst of Flavor in San Diego, where her heart had found its rhythm. The show's success continued to grow organically, and the bond between Laura and William deepened as they navigated the challenges and joys of life in the culinary spotlight. As they continued their professional collaboration and their romance blossomed, Laura and William found a deep sense of harmony. Against the vibrant backdrop of Burst of Flavor, their connection deepened, and the warmth they shared extended beyond the studio, weaving seamlessly into the fabric of their daily existence. However, life has a way of throwing in unexpected twists, and their harmonious duet faced a sudden dissonance when a familiar yet unwelcome figure emerged from the shadows of Laura's past. Greg, the man whose insecurities had once shattered the melody of Laura's happiness, resurfaced like a haunting refrain, seeking redemption for the discord he had sown, and asking Laura, to give him a second chance. Laura, caught off guard by Greg's unexpected return, 
found herself entangled in a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. The wounds he had inflicted on her heart were still tender, the scars a testament to the pain she had endured. His reappearance reopened old wounds, and she grappled with the question of whether she still loved him and whether forgiveness was possible, or if some hurts were too deep to mend. Greg, however, was a changed man. Contrite and humbled, he approached Laura with a sincerity that showed genuine remorse and a desire to reconcile in earnest. He spoke of a journey of self-discovery and growth, a realization of the depth of his mistakes and the consequences of his insecurities. His admission of guilt carried with it an air of vulnerability, leaving Laura torn between the past that had wounded her and the possibility of a future with William. In the midst of this emotional tempest, Laura turned to William for support. Their relationship, which had been steadily growing, faced an unexpected test. William, sensing Laura's inner turmoil, became a pillar of strength. In the quiet moments, under the soft glow of kitchen lights, or against the backdrop of the city's skyline, they navigated the complexities of forgiveness and the haunting echoes of the past. William, his own feelings entangled in the delicate dance of emotions, offered Laura reassurance and understanding. I'm here for you, Laura, he whispered, his eyes reflecting a mixture of concern and unwavering support. Together, they faced the challenge of confronting Greg's reappearance and proposition, unsure of how it might reshape the delicate balance they had been cultivating. As Laura grappled with the decision to either confront the ghosts of the past or leave them buried, Greg's presence loomed large, a specter of the mistakes that had once driven a wedge between them and the great love that once existed between them. In the kitchen, amidst the sizzle of pans and the aroma of spices, Laura found solace. Cooking, once her refuge, became a therapeutic outlet as she tried to reconcile the conflicting emotions within her. Each dish she crafted mirrored the layers of her heart, a fusion of bitterness and sweetness that mirrored the complexities of forgiveness. As Laura navigated this unexpected twist in her story, the support and understanding she found in William became the anchor that steadied her amidst the storm. Their connection, forged through a shared passion for both culinary artistry and the delicate dance of love, faced a test that would determine the strength of their bond. Their lives, once filled with vibrant hues of joy and love, now included deep uncertainty. The question lingered in the air like the tantalizing aroma of a simmering dish. Could forgiveness rewrite the narrative of Laura's past? Or would it become a bitter aftertaste that threatened to linger and ruin the future she was building with William? Ultimately, Laura chose to say goodbye to Greg forever a choice which freed her to move on with her life with William. The challenge of confronting her past became a test of Laura and William's relationship. Together, they navigated the complexities of forgiveness and closure, finding strength in the love that had blossomed between them. Greg, witnessing the depth of Laura's newfound happiness with William, eventually found his own path to redemption, learning valuable lessons about trust and self-worth. San Diego, with its sun-kissed shores and vibrant culinary scene, became the backdrop for a love story that transcended the challenges of the past. Laura and William, their bond strengthened by the trials they faced, embraced the flavors of life with a renewed zest. Their journey, once marked by heartache and uncertainty, now boasted vibrant hues of joy, love, and the enduring magic 
of second chances. As burst of flavor continued to capture the hearts of viewers, Laura and William discovered that the most delectable recipe was one crafted with equal parts passion, resilience, and the unwavering belief that in the recipe of life, love was the most exquisite flavor of all. The city of San Diego, forever etched in their memories, became part of a love story that had evolved from the bitter taste of betrayal into one of sweetness that would linger in their hearts for a lifetime. As the moon gently casts its silvery glow over the quiet ocean waves, we reach the end of our romantic, guided bedtime story. We hope that this tale, woven with flavors of love, forgiveness, and the magic of culinary dreams, has whisked you away into a world where every moment is a delicately crafted masterpiece. Before you drift off into the realm of dreams, take a moment to savor the sweetness of the story. As you close your eyes and let the moonlight guide you into the realm of dreams, remember that love, like the gentle waves caressing the shore, has a way of soothing even the deepest scars. Thank you for joining us on this enchanting journey. If you enjoyed this romantic bedtime story, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tales that will transport you to the realms of love and imagination. Until next time, may your dreams be as sweet as the flavors of our story tonight. Good night, dear listeners. <laughs>